All right. So we'll go around and get things started. Hello, everybody. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see you all. Also, hello to those of you who are joining us on yeah. Zoom. My name is Melina Yanos, and I am the Dean of Workforce Instruction at North Seattle College. I'm so super happy and excited about that to, you know, officially be part of this community that way. Um, it is so amazing to so see so many faces in person. Um, it just feels so good to see all of you. So. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show appreciation for being able to have uh, shouting and um, activities going on and just be able to recognize um, our amazing folks here at the college. So with that, I'd like to go ahead and introduce and turn it over to my partner today, who will help me lead today's event, uh, Ruben Gonzalez, Director of Campus Safety and Security. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Good. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be really close. All right. Thank you, Melina. Um, it's so great to be here. And we are joined today by interim chancellor, Dr. Rosie Romano. Okay. Uh, and Dr. Green Crawford. We know both of you, uh, both your schedules are very busy. So thank you for being with us today to celebrate. Um, today's service award is our annual celebration of service from both past and present employees. Whether this is your first year of service in North or your 40th, we're so glad that you have chosen North. Without you here and without your students, this place would be nothing more than some nice gray building. Um, you get the campus life and you made it a community that changes lives daily. Today is all about recognizing that. Before we get too far into our program, I would like to call on Christina Shanehan. Manager of Running Start, who has also recently been serving as her interim director of advising to read the land and labor acknowledgement. Thank you very much. So our land and labor acknowledgement for today. On behalf of North Seattle College, we acknowledge that we occupy the traditional ancestral lands of the Coast Salish peoples, Duwamish, Muckleshoot, Tulalip, Snoqualmie, and Suquamish continuing to honor their traditions, culture, history, and customs. We ask that we take this opportunity to thank the original caretakers of these lands, air, water, relatives both human and more than human who are still here today. We ask that participants consider their responsibilities to the people and land, both here and elsewhere, and to stand in solidarity with Native, Indigenous, and First Nations people and their sovereignty, cultural heritage, and land. We acknowledge the forced and unpaid labor of enslaved peoples that is the foundation of the U.S. and has not been confiscated. It is our collective responsibility to critically interrogate these histories, to repair harm, and to honor, protect, and sustain them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Christina. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and kick off the celebration and get right to the award. We will start with employees who have been with North for five years. And I am happy to ask Dan Tarker, Dean of the Library and Learning Support Services, and Tina Akinyi, uh, Director of the Louis Stokes Alliance for Minority Participation to help us there. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Dan Parker. I want to uh, welcome you to the Tony Awards. <laughs> Sorry, wrong script. Uh, I mean, uh, welcome you to the Razzie Awards. Just kidding. I'm really delighted to uh, be participating in this year's service award ceremony. This year, we have 41 awardees, employees who have achieved five years of service. 41 people served here for five years. And that's a quite a long list. So I am uh, delighted to have Tina here to help me with this presentation. Thanks, Dan. Hello, everybody. My name is Tina, and I am the director of the Women's Health Alliance for Minority Participation. For our five year honorees that are in attendance today, when your name is called, please come forward. Then you're going to receive your certificate and your pin from um, Dr. Crawford. And for any of our five year honorees that are joining us on Zoom, Please know that we will be sure to get you your certificate and your pin later on. 
And if you're on Zoom, um, and we can't see you here in this room, but please make sure to give uh, your the other folks on Zoom who are getting their awards the props in the chat. Um, so we're going to start off with uh, the first 20 names. Tara Bernstein. And if you, uh, your name is called, if you could please line up here by uh, Rocky over here at the podium in front of the uh, PowerPoint, that would be great. So Tara Bernstein, Patrick Bolts, Molly Brown. I know I saw you here, Molly. Yeah. Caroline Hundley, Kathleen Trump, Dennis Sensabann, Mark Dorner, Leah Evans, Naya Friera, Peter Fiddler, Marciela Flores, Factory Gab, Wu Hong Wan. Lincoln Harrington, Lorena Hernandez, Orlea Howard, Daniel Inga, and Eric Jacquard. Thank you. And now Tina will read the rest of our five year recipients. And we're going to continue with the rest of the five years of our service award recipients Jillian Kelleher, Charles Clean. Yoshiyuki Komada, Richard Lee, Darren Lenz, Jimmy Lin, Robert McHenry, wow. <laughs> Troy Monker, Rebecca Morris, Dan Paz. Caitlin Pickett, Anna Schindler, Allison Solem, Larry Spear, <laughs> you have Jane Tuck in the room. Ann Werbaugh, William White, <laughs> Victoria Yuen, Douglas Vander, Ariel Zastro, now speak as Dorothy. Let's go ahead and give all these employees a well-deserved round of applause. starring in the Broadway musical HR <laughs> to help us recognize the boys with 10 years of service. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Dan. Hi, everyone. For those of you all who don't know, I am uh, Josh Kirk, I'm the HR director of uh, Science Adult. Um, so five years is a significant uh, amount of time. But this next group, I'm really excited to announce, is our 27 colleagues who've been with North Seattle College for 10 years. I think we can all agree that these are some incredibly special colleagues when we work through this list. Um, for those of you in attendance, uh, whatever your name is called, please come forward if you're able. 
Uh, and for any and your honorees for watching today on Zoom, please know that we'll be sure to get you your certificate in your kids too. Okay. First name on the list, and I know they are here, is Mary Ako Pack. <laughs> Tender Collette. Karen Bernal. Yeah. I'm going to have to say. I'm going Michael Cooper, Sharka Falsanova, Jane Perry, Tanya Tina, Adria Kafka. Carolina Kobayako, Larry Lang, Jessica Logan, Adrian Love, Van Wong, wow. Anthony McNair, Paul Powell, Kathy Rose. Penny Rose, Mosin, Mosin, sorry, Mosin Solari, Haley Smith, Kimberly Kate Malone, Carla Thompson, <laughs> Norio Cadena. <laughs> Helen Holderman Dean. <laughs> Please help me again recognize our outstanding colleagues by joining me in a round of applause. <laughs> Another photo. Oh, wait, I can go I didn't Hi everyone, I'm Alice Snelling, Executive Dean for Student Success, and I'm truly honored to be able to introduce these amazing people who have served our college. Let's start with the six employees who earned 50 year awards. You probably have a sequence down now, but for those of you in your name is called, please come on up, come on up for so we can celebrate you. And for any honorees who may be watching today on Zoom, please know that we'll be able to get your certificates and things to you. So, 15 year award includes Danielle Blackman, Al Burns, Elizabeth Boulay. Edgar Yasso. Yeah. 
Bronomir Nicholas, Bronomir here, Misty Upton. <laughs> Let's recognize <laughs> the young employee. <laughs> Thank you. All righty. Okay, now we're getting to the multiple decade part of our celebration. I'm happy to introduce the eight individuals who served for 20 years at York. For those of you here today, please come forward when your name's called. Gregory Barquette, Michael Harrell, Brian Holt, Laurelyn Neusner, Tegusa Sonabe. I know this person's here. Vladimir Vilkovich. And I know the next person is here as well. Fleetwood Wilson. Let's give one more. Let's recognize these folks and give one more round of now I'd like to call up Pete Lord for the 25 and 30 year. Thank you, Alex. And, uh, thank you to everybody. It's always a, one of the really cool events every year. So I appreciate seeing everybody. And as uh, we've talked to Edgar, and I think for some of us, we've been back in this room for a long time. So good to see folks. Um, so for the employees with the 25 years, as Alice mentioned, uh, you know the drill now. So uh, 25 years was two years before Y2K, to put that in a little bit of perspective. And we have eight people who have been here for uh, for 25 years. So uh, if you're here and you hear your name, please uh, come on up. Um, Tim Fickenbach. <laughs> Tracy, Tracy Heinlein. Bill Holt. Michelle Kelly. Helen Lee. Diana Ma. Laura McCracken. <laughs> and Tony. Uh, please help me recognize these outstanding employees with another round of applause. And now 30. Supposed to say, does everybody remember what they were doing 30 years ago? And for some of you, that question may be <laughs> three decades of service at the North is an incredible achievement, and it is an honor to recognize a lot of people who have been at North for 30 years. As I read your name, please come up to receive your um, a little bit more than 
Again, please help me in recognizing these outstanding employees by a round of applause. And for the last, oops, sorry, I'll let, I'll, I'll let take, take the picture. For the last batch, we're going to ask Dr. Crawford to switch the role. Okay. How is everyone doing? Are you enjoying the food? Oh, Thank you. The team has put this together and we'll mention those folks later. All right. Uh, we're down to the big ones. Uh, first, we have 135 year award recipient, Bruce McKill. I don't think Bruce is here, but Bruce, if you are on Zoom, congratulations. Right? In service to North, we'd like to recognize you with a North Seattle College certificate and pin, and we will be sure to get those to you. And and something else. Right? And we have two 40 year honorees, Deanna Lee and Denise York. Deanna, it will be here today, but I wanted to provide a little context on what 40 years represents. Uh, fun fact from 1983, <laughs> Michael Jackson dropped his uh, Thriller album, right? Uh, demand for chicken spice with the invention of the chicken McNugget. <laughs> okay. The MASH finale became the most watched TV show of all time. And a gallon of gas cost about a dollar and twenty-five cents. Now we don't intend to date these employees, but I bring them up to prove a point that despite all of the changes that have occurred since then, a constant for Deanna and Denise has been the North Seattle College campus and community. And because of that, these individuals have touched the lives of so many students. And that is truly remarkable. I'd like to say a few words about Deanna and Denise before we move on with the program. For Deanna, in addition to achieving her 40 year service anniversary, she also retired this year. She was a math faculty member and taught a wide spectrum of classes from pre-college to college level math and face-to-face -face and online modalities. She was also the primary instructor for Math 090 or Math 90 a mathematical module course, a modular course offered every quarter to improve student success. One student noted her course was the best math experience in my 30 years. And that says a lot. Uh, beyond the classroom, Deanna was very involved in math department activities as and was on the team who authored the open source pre-college math text. She also served on the budget advisory committee. Now, Denise would not be here today because she also works at Roosevelt High School and is with students uh, as we speak. But just a little information about her. Denise Jordan has been teaching American Sign Language with North Seattle College for many years. 
Uh, she was born into a silent world, and from her family, she learned to be strong and have a sense of humor. She enjoys making people laugh and believes it makes her more spiritual. Denise loves to teach people who enjoy learning sign language and about the deaf culture. She believes that sign language is beautiful and loves to see people get excited about learning the language. And I love that. Congratulations to both Deanna and Denise on 40 years of service. And most of all, thank you. Let's give them a round of applause. And <laughs> Now I'd like to call your attention to the award sheets on each of your tables. Can someone hold up the award sheets? Folks know what they're looking for. Listed on these sheets are awards and accomplishments that you and your colleagues have achieved in the 22-23 academic year. You were asked to share with us some of your accomplishments and those of your co-workers. There are many more that, even, that are even captured here. And please take a look at them. Uh, I invite Pete back up to help us recognize our League of Innovation Excellence Award winner. Pete. Thank you, Shemeen. Uh, this year, six North Seattle College faculty were recognized for their leadership and contributions to higher ed with the League of Innovation Excellence Awards. The Excellence Awards were started in 2012 to recognize and honor community college faculty and staff for their contributions to their college and also to the uh, community college and students at large. I, I know I saw one, so we're not going to have an empty picture, but uh, <laughs> you know, the awardees present uh, today, please come up to be recognized and I call your name. Leanne Dittmar in Farm Tech. Ben Rakowski in biology. Ben Roberts in electronics. Christina Rampogren in English. Christine Unitzer in basic and traditional studies. And this is my year. Congratulations again, William, and the other uh, award winners as well. Now I'd like to invite members of the STARS Committee to please come up. And I'm going to hand the mic off to co-chairs, Casey Chow and Emily Rodriguez, who are going to announce classified employee of the award, the winter golden star employee of the quarter, the spring golden star employee of the quarter. And then afterwards, the chancellor and president will come up uh, to help recognize the retirees. Hey, thank you, Pete. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Thank you all. Uh, my name is Casey Chow. And I am Emily Rodriguez, and I'm not the co chair, but I, I am here. <laughs> <laughs> it's our pleasure to introduce the STARS Committee. Uh, well, we're Castro and Sabrina Woodson, who could not be with us today. Uh, we are dedicated to campus morale and leadership among classified staff. Um, has anyone in our North community here today ever uh, received either the Golden Star Employee of the Quarter Award or the Classified uh, Employee of the Year Award? Raise your hand. <laughs> what a great group, thank you. Um, before we get to the Classified Employee of the Year Award, we would like to announce the winter and spring uh, Golden Star Employee of the uh, Employee of the Quarter Award recipients. Thank you, and thanks to everyone who took the time to nominate a colleague. Dr. Crawford, would you please come up and do the honor? Absolutely. Yes. Right. Okay. I just see what you tell. <laughs> the winter award goes to Yi Zhang. 
And now we have the honor of presenting the Classified Employee of the Year Award. Um, we have celebrated um, this award, giving out this award for the last two decades. So the Classified Employee of the Year must demonstrate respect, professionalism, and commitment to advancing North's mission and goal. They must exceed expectations and have a cooperative spirit. Again, thank you to everyone who submitted a nomination. Right. I just want to read a few uh, sentences from the nomination about the honoree. She's very kind, positive, and professional in her interactions with faculty, staff, and students. She brings her Spanish language and culturally re responsive skills to her work in our division. Our college community is fortunate to have her leadership skills, initiative to improve processes, and friendly, cooperative manner. And the 2023 Classified Employee of the Year is Veronica Duran Smith. Thank you, everyone, and congrats to North's uh, Golden Stars and the Classified uh, Faculty of the Year, Classified Staff of the Year. The Service Awards is, uh, as many of you may know, I spent most of my career at South, and it was one of my most favorite events of the year because it's a chance to kind of reconnect across the organization to people and realize, like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize you've been here since then, or oh, okay, you've been here for the same amount of time, or just to make those connections. And so it's it's always fun. I, this year, I get to go to the different colleges celebrations, and so appreciate being invited to to North and to see to see all of you celebrate each other. So it's a special day, and so I'm happy to be a part of the celebration. And as is tradition, the chancellor has the honor to recognize North's retirees. So I am not sure um, how many are in attendance today, but we do know that there are many exceptional employees who are retiring. And we know that North, the North community and the Seattle Colleges community will miss you all tremendously. So North's success has been and will always be dependent on people like the individuals that we recognize today and those that I'm going to call out here in a moment who are doing their jobs well and in service of our students. So on behalf of your campus and the Seattle Colleges, I say congratulations on your retirements and thank you so much for all that you've given to us through the years. 
So I'm going to go through listening. Help me recognize these outstanding employees. And if you're here today in person, please do join me up here. And then um, if you're on Zoom, I think they're going to mail something to you. But, <laughs> but thank you to all uh, for your contributions. And so first to recognize uh, is retiree Jasmine Adamek. <laughs> Denise Brennan, Renee Zahek, Sabine Ayers, Barbara Goldner, Janet Coffee Leonard, Ralph Jenny. Paul Perosi, Deanna Lee, Jane Patterson, Patrick Prendergrad. Earl Sedley, probably <laughs> making his way up. Sam Silla, <laughs> Don Smith. <laughs> and William Brown. Congratulations to all the retirees. This is a nice warm up, I think, for graduation. So keep those clapping your hands ready. Let's see when it's up to be. Um, but now we'll talk to you. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you, Dr. Rossi, and all the retirees. It's probably my first year at North. It is really inspiring to be the kind of dedication that an employee has. I knew I made a great decision when coming to North, and this event is just real Um Yeah, I agree, Ruben. When you and I were invited to be co MCs of this event, it sounded really fun. And I'm excited about it. Um, but after seeing everyone here and being part of the event, uh, it means so much. So we have amazing people here at North, and I'm so excited about our future. So, everyone, we've reached the end of our program. But before we say goodbye, I want to invite Dr. Copper back up to say a few closing words. It will be a few, so no worries, because there is more stuff back here. Than, but thank you, Milana and Ruben, for hosting. I really appreciate you both, and I'm looking forward to what you're going to do here at North. Uh, congratulations to everyone who was recognized today. Uh, we are at the end of our program, but before we wrap up, I have one more award to announce. If you recall, during the Spring Fest, we asked everyone to vote on the booth, table, or activity that displayed the most North Seattle College spirit. Well, all of the votes have been tallied. And the winner is our, winners are, uh, V. Olvera, Dean Roblake, and the student leadership team. <laughs> Oh, 
congratulations uh and thank you for helping to make spring fest such a fun and uplifting uplifting event our planning team will be in touch with you to provide a nice gift on behalf of the president's office I also want to remind you all about commencement on June 22nd at T-Mobile Park. It's a great opportunity to celebrate our students and see the culmination not only of their hard work, but yours as well. Uh, because none of our students could cross that graduation stage without the support of each and every one of you in this room, we really encourage you to attend and celebrate them. So thank you for all that you do for our students. And I want you to know how grateful and appreciative I am for allowing me to be your president these past three years. As I've told many of you, North will always hold a very special place in my heart. Uh, we've been through a lot together in a short period of time, and some of it has been challenging. <laughs> but I thank you all for your support and for everything you do in support of our students and for this college community. Go Tree Frogs! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.